Yesterday, we got some bad news. Well, kinda. I actually think it's going to be good news for the long-term health of the game. Multiverses Season 1 has been indefinitely delayed. Now, I don't want you guys to freak out. Like I said, I actually think this is going to be a good thing long-term. But Morty and the start of Season 1 has been delayed, and the Battle Pass has been extended for another week. You guys may be wondering what exactly caused this delay, and we're going to go over that after I ease everyone's minds about the Warner Discovery merger affecting the game. If you didn't know, Warner Brothers and Discovery are merging, and it's kind of messy. Projects like Batgirl and the Scoob Holiday Special were nearly finished and got completely scrapped so that Warner Discovery could write those projects off on their taxes. There was some concern after the Multiverse's delay announcement that it was related to the merger because of how close the announcement was to the announcement of these cancelled projects. Thankfully, Tony put this to rest, and I want to add on to this. They are canning projects that, whether we agree with Warner Discovery or not, they don't think are going to turn a profit. They're trying to mitigate losses, and Multiverses is genuinely one of the best things they have going for them at the moment. It's the two-time record holder for most played fighting game on PC, and we don't even know the console numbers. It's huge, and it's not going to be a project they're going to scrap. It's all good, guys. Well, at least for Multiverses. So, if they're not affected by the merger, why the delay? I think that part is kind of obvious. This game is in beta, and there have been a lot of complaints about bugs, the netcode, balance, and features that the game is missing. There's no real spectator mode, people will get online rollbacks so bad that they go flying into the blast zone and die, hitboxes are jank as hell, and the game is pretty buggy. There are so many fires they need to put out, but if they keep pumping out new content, it's going to be hard to focus on these fires. I think they just need some time to polish the game, clean up what they have, and then once the base of the game is where it needs to be, they can go back to adding more content. I also think it's kind of the perfect time to delay the game. I mean, we just got LeBron James and a new stage. If this were any other fighting game, we'd be waiting like two months minimum for the next character and stage. We have content to hold us over, and there's a big tournament this weekend we get to enjoy. They're also still going to be releasing balance patches as far as I'm aware, and I'm actually really pumped to play this roster in a build where Bugs Bunny and Velma aren't absolutely terrorizing the streets. I play the Iron Giant, I know, I know, sue me, Shaggy, and a bit of Wonder Woman, so these changes are going to feel better than any new character could, at least in my opinion. Also, how do we expect them to fix the bugs while continuing to add characters every other week? Fixing bugs sounds nightmarish enough without worrying about new factors and variables getting added every other week. And on top of that, they'd have to split up their resources even further. Instead of everybody being on bug fix put out fires mode, they'd have a significant number of their team working on putting out new content like characters, skins, and stages. The delay is smart, and they kind of had to do it. Also guys, we have to keep in mind that Player First Games is not the biggest team in the world. They're trying to expand and hire more people, but we have a relatively small team trying to support the most played fighting game of all time. We need to give them a moment to breathe and figure this all out. I don't think any of them could have predicted that this game would be as big as it is, by the way, if any of you guys can code, work with 3D models, have experience with combat design, or have any kind of experience in the game design industry, I would highly recommend that you apply to Player First Games. They need the help, and if you have the skill set, you could be that help. I'm going to leave a link to their careers page in the description of my video. Please check it out if you're interested. They have 17 openings as of recording this video, so check them over and see if there's anything you're qualified for. I mean, who knows? You may get to be the lucky soul to bring Walter White into the game. If you're not sure if you qualify for a job, I would check the jobs that you're interested in. They list the requirements and what they're looking for for each job. Who knows? You may be exactly what they need. Now you may be wondering, Nosy Boy, what can I do to help? I don't have any experience in game design at all. 
Well, my dear viewers, it's simple. You can start by subscribing to me. It doesn't really help the team at all, but it sure is helpful to me. After subscribing, just give the developers some positive vibes. I've seen some real cornballs in the replies to the delay announcement saying some foul shit, and that's not good for the mental health of the team at Player First Games. These guys are human beings just like us, and they're probably more disappointed and sad about this delay than any one of us can be. Think about it, they've waited a long time to reveal this game to the public, let them play, and keep them happy with content. Now they have to be the bad guys and tell their fans that they can't keep up at the moment. Let them know that you love their game and that you're happy to wait for the content. Multiverses is an insanely good game and I can't wait for it to be in an even healthier state. Now, if you're one of the cornball dickheads crying over this announcement, the best thing you can do to help is shut the fuck up and let them work. Just delete your Twitter off of your phone for a couple of weeks or honestly, maybe just delete it forever that'd be good too. Anyways, long story short, they need more time to make this game as good as it deserves to be. They have a lot of fires to put out, and why would you want to bring new characters into a burning building? They just need a couple extra weeks to give this game the foundation it needs to thrive in the future. Speaking of the future, when exactly is Morty going to come out now? Well, it's not announced, and I don't think there's a clear answer because it depends on a lot of things, but I think there's two likely possibilities if everything goes smoothly. Either everything is going to be delayed by a couple of weeks and Morty will come out when Rick was supposed to come out, then Rick would come out when the next character after him was supposed to come out, etc, etc. Or this could just be me reaching, but they actually don't say that Rick has been delayed as far as I'm aware. I could have missed an announcement, but I'm pretty sure they only said that Morty was delayed. There's a chance that they'll just delay Season 1 and Morty to release alongside Rick and drop them all at the same time to make it up to players and get a lot of hype back. I could see Player First Games doing that, but do not go forward expecting them to do this. This is my speculation. There's no official source anywhere saying that this is going to happen. We have no idea how long this delay will last. I think it's pretty heavily dependent on how quickly they can fix some of these bugs, address the netcode and servers, and put out these fires. With that said, thank you guys for watching. Seriously, make sure you subscribe, it helps a ton. If you made it this far, there's really no reason not to. Remember to be kind, especially to the developers while they're going through this, and I'll smell you guys later. Yeah. Yeah. So, 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 so. Yeah.